Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are all the ebooks that I ended up downloading last month in March. And there's a lot. So I went a little ham in March. I got a lot of ebooks for free. That's why we're not talking about my Kindle Unlimited downloads because most of the time I do my Kindle Unlimited downloads that I did that month and the free ebooks that I got. Um, I got a lot of free ebooks. Okay, there was a lot of sale. There was like a lot of like promos and stuff. And like, like, I, okay, don't judge me. I got a lot of all these books almost were for free. So besides the thing two, I got them for free. Well, technically no. Anyway, I'll explain it in a second. <laughs> anyway, there's a lot of books on this list. So let's just get started. Also, before we get into the video, I would love to mention too, if you're interested in any of these books, they were always linked below in my description. So if a book interests you, just hop on down to my description, click on the link and the book will pop up for you. So the first two books that I have, I actually got because I got like Amazon promotion credits. Cause if you like don't rush your Amazon package order, they can give you digital credits in exchange for that. So with my digital credits, I got two, ebooks that I've been wanting to read that are not on Kindle Unlimited. So technically they kind of were free because I didn't pay for them. Amazon did. Okay. So first is Soft Flannel Hank by Eliza MacArthur. I heard about this one from Crystal. Crystal loves this book. And um, all I heard her say is that like it's either inspired by or it gives vibes of Charlie Swan from Twilight. Sold. Completely sold. Don't have to say anything else. I've been wanting to read this for a while, but it's not on KU. And so when I got those credits, I was like, whew, I need to get that because uh, it's $3.99 to purchase. But with the credits, it was free. And then my other one that I got is Graveyard Sparrow by Kayla Bashi. Bashi. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. And this one is $2.99 to purchase. It's not on KU, but this is a paranormal Regency sapphic romance. Okay. Need I say anything else? I did get an ARC in March and I downloaded a book off of AO3, so Archive of Our Own. I don't know the title of it, darn, Um, but I got it from Keisha. Keisha told me about it. I saw her bind this book. Also Keisha, I'll link her channel down below. I love her, but she does, uh, she reads romance books, but then she also binds fan fiction. I saw that she bound this copy of all the A Court of Thorns and Roses books in Reese's point of view. And I was like, huh? Uh, I texted her, I was like, Keisha, where did you get, like, where, where is that fanfic? I need that fanfic, please, now. So I downloaded, it's like multiple parts. So I downloaded part one, so Akamath part one, The House. And if I don't remember, bug me in the comments, I will put the link to the fanfic down below. But it's apparently all of Akamath in Reese's point of view, which, yes, I need that in my life. So I downloaded that. And then I also got the ARC, um, because I'm on Neva's arc team for um, Darkest Sins by Neve Altaj, which is her latest book in the Perfectly Imperfect series. The book has already come out, so go check it out. I'm actually currently reading it. I am a little late in the game and reading some of my arcs. I am sorry. Um, but this one is a stalker romance and it's delicious. It is delicious. Okay, love it. I also got two um, documents, like they're not from Amazon. Um, because there was like free, some free alien romances that you got sent through book funnel. So like a document that you got. So I got Be Her's Treasure. I don't know if you pronounce that. I don't know. Um, by A.G. Wilde. Um, this is in her alien romance series that I love. I think it's just a novella in that series. It's not on Amazon at all. And I also downloaded The Orc Trapper's Bride by K.L. Wyatt, who I know is a book talker and she writes um, alien romance, monster romances as well. So I haven't read her books yet, but I saw it was for free and I know her name. So I was like, sold, let's do it, let's do it. Now let's get into all the other free books that I got. I actually got all these off of Amazon. Okay, so first is Finding the Jewel by Evangeline Anderson. Okay, so this is the first book out of many that I downloaded because I don't remember who was promoting it, but one of my authors that I follow, one of her books was in this promotion for monster alien romance books with plus size representation. And I was like, oh my gosh. And so I got like a bunch. So this is one of them. The tagline for this one says, a warrior has a choice to make, rescue the woman he loves or complete a quest to heal himself. Which will he choose? This next one's currently free still. This is Breaking the Rules by Amber Lee. Who says for fans of Kennedy Ryan and Penelope Ward will love this emotional and steamy sports romance series starter. Interesting. This is a forbidden MMA romance. Oh, it's his best friend's little sister. Mm, 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 mm. Apparently it's been a while since uh, Travis the year has seen his best friend's little sister and my has she grown and changed into a beautiful woman 
and he cannot stop thinking about her. Secret Puck by Rebecca Jinshack is another one that I got for free. It's on Kindle Unlimited now. This is a forbidden friends to lovers hockey romance, okay, hockey. The heroine falls in love with her brother's teammate who is on the hockey team. The Sacrifice by Jessica Godziella is my next one. Um, this isn't on Kindle Unlimited, but you could purchase it for $2.99 if you're interested. This is a paranormal motorcycle club romance interesting i think the heroine is some sort of sacrifice to the hero's motorcycle club sounds dark then is power play by lexi james this one is on kindle limited and it looks like we have another hockey one and maybe our heroine is a dancer based off the cover so our heroine in here sawyer is uh working to finish her degree she's working a bunch of different jobs one of them is a bartender and um, she's just gonna try and make ends meet until she finishes her degree one night she ends up meeting this guy at the bar and they think they have like a a, a very hot night together um but then uh she finds out that that is her brother's new hockey coach sounds angsty sounds dramatic deal with the alien devil is next by ava york this one is on kindle unlimited the heroine of the story her best friend goes missing and before long her search leads her into the claws of the leader of the vindruthly cartel he is terrifying utterly ruthless he'll help her find her best friend but can she pay the price he demands i have haunted fate next by ca cleary this is also on kindle unlimited the heroine victoria her life has been destined for her since she was born um she's slated to participate in the legatra a ceremony to preserve the dying vampire race here she'll be chosen a mate or someone's next meal and while victoria's blue violet eyes and her family name should secure her a mate she flees from the community lest she become a vampire's blood servant caleb is the hard-hearted ill-tempered head of a vampire bloodline taking a human mate even though it spells salvation for their kind absolutely repulses him yet he can't seem to get victoria off of his mind when the news of her escape is reported to the council when she's captured and brought back to the community for her own legatra he is compelled to claim her while victoria uncovers shocking truths about the vampires and herself looming danger and undeniable desire propel the two opposing lovers closer together like sign me up for a vampire romance yes please then i have bound by brenda rothbert this is still available to download for free i think this is a surprise baby romance i believe kate is a college senior who just found out how she's pregnant so she's going to learn and adjust to this then this professional hockey player named jason is our hero and he apparently has like the perfect life he has adoring fans a promising career and a beautiful wife and then tragedy strikes and um, things are never the same. Then certain circumstances bring Kate and Jason together and they discover they don't have to hurt alone. Sounds emotional. Next is Rigs by Crystal Daniels. This is not free anymore, but you can purchase it for $4.99. I think I picked this one up because I saw that it had chronic illness representation, so. Next is Unconditional by QB Tyler. This is on Kid Unlimited. Anytime I see a QB Tyler book for free, I get it. I think I have a few of her books. I don't know which one this is. I think this is the step sibling one. Next is Three Lessons in Seduction by Sophie Darling. This is available on Kindle Unlimited. Lesson one, don't tell your wife you're a spy. Lesson two, don't let your husband seduce you. Lesson three, whatever you do, don't fall in love again. Interesting. That sounds really fun. I, I love like historical spy romances. Next is Runaway Love by Melanie Harlow. This is on Kindle Unlimited. This is a single dad nanny small town romance. I just read those tropes and got it. I saw that it's Melanie Harlow. Anytime I see just an author that I already know, I just get their book if it's free. From the Start by Katie Dugan is my next one. This one is on Kindle Limited and I saw that this one has disability representation and I believe it's own voices. So gotta, gotta hype that up. Um, I think I saw it on a few of my friends' Instagrams who also have chronic illnesses and disabilities. So I saw that it was for free and needed to get it. And I think the next one was just announced too. And that one's a sapphic one. Next is A Highlander for Hannah by Mary Warren. This is not free anymore, but you could purchase it for $4.99. This hero just looks like Jamie from Outlander. So that was very appealing. Our heroine, Hannah, ends up quitting her job and moving to a family farm um, because she just needs a change in her life. In search of clarity, apparently her best friend ends up buying her a... Um, 
love the spell. <laughs> Hannah doesn't believe in magic, but she ends up performing the spell anyway. And then Graham McDaniel ends up just falling into her lap, who's from 1745. So it's kind of like this mystical, magical element to it. That one sounds really cute and really fun. Next is In the Care of Magic, a queer, cozy monster romance. This is on Kid Unlimited. So Jillian is the only witch in a town of humans who regularly take advantage of her magic services. Overworked and underappreciated, she escapes her town for a much needed holiday in her childhood home, a lovely cottage situ situated deep into the woods. When she comes across a very unexpected and interesting book promising her company and pleasure, Jillian realizes she may have finally found the relaxation she desperately craved, but she never expected to make friends with a demon. That's interesting in here because it says the little thing under it says their relationship is platonic not romantic. Next is Bound by the Basilisk by Amy Wright. This is on Kindle Unlimited. This is a cozy monster romance. Would you make a deal with a deadly basilisk? Our heroine apparently is an escort with monstrous deals. Then a billionaire property mogul who's just opened a new casino in Heartstone tracks me down and demands to be my next client. I'm thrilled. He's far more handsome than our regular clients and dangerously charming. The Catch is Ursero, an ancient deadly basilisk who can kill with a single look. There are rules. I have to be blindfolded and can never look at him when he touches me. That seems okay at first, but when feelings start to grow, I can't help but long for a closer look at this creature who gives me more pleasure that anyone has ever done. Then I have How to Marry a Lich by Lizzie Strong. This is available to purchase for $3.99. This says fans of the Adams Family, Mary Shelley, and Eldric Horror will gobble up this deliciously gothic monster romance. Okay, I'm not a horror person, but gothic romance, but gothic monster romance actually sounds pretty fun. For the last five years, Dahlia Grayskull has sought solace in the shadows of the de decrepit and supposedly abandoned Rosemount Manor. She's been hiding from her reputation as the shrew of King's Fall, her wicked stepfather, and the shadow of something much more deadly. Unbeknownst to her, Lord Sebastian Rosemont has been watching her traipse through his deadly garden and read books to the graves in his yard. The Lich Lord is very protective over what he considers his, and Dahlia is his now, whether she knows it or not. When Dahlia's life and inheritance hang in the balance, she must submit to her mother's dying wish, marry or lose everything. Who better than a Lich to tame this shrew? This cover brought me in. This is Structural Damage by Sloane Spencer. This is an MMF romance. This is on Kindle Unlimited. Cora Dalton has a lot on her plate. She's CEO of her late father's architecture firm, takes care of her mother, is amid a major lawsuit and doing everything she can to control life. But when Jay, the man she had a one night stand with, shows up at her office as the new human resources director, she has to try even harder to control her feelings. As Jay and Cora grow their working relationship, so as their attraction to one another. But when Jay sets up a massage appointment for Cora with a male massage therapist he knows quite well, she can't help but fall for him too. Was this Jay's plan all along? Can these men help Cora relax and relinquish control? That one sounds really good as well. The last one that I have is Almost Maybes by Anna P. This one is also on Kindle Limited. I've been eyeing this one for a while. It's been on my disability recommendation um, list on Amazon. Um, so I don't know what the representation is exactly, but I know there is rep of some kind. It says that even at 36, or Orleander Bowen has to do things she doesn't enjoy to appease her grandmother. Meet eligible bachelors who will definitely make terrible husbands, hide her sexuality, and make excuses for working late. While Oleander hasn't had to battle the patriarchy the way other Indian women have, she's tired. She's also tired of the boring one night stands and tired of working two jobs to pay back her parents. Then he steps into her bar. For Jackson Huxley, being 26 means living his best life, hanging out with his best friends, yearning out over Star Wars and the Ninja Turtles, but also healing his broken heart. He has never been the kind of guy that women want. Too nerdy, not enough muscles, and far more inclined to break out pop culture references every single time. Then he met her. Neither of them were looking for love, but persistence and charm not only gives Jackson a chance to be himself in a relationship, but also encourages Oleander to drop her walls and to open up to something new. Doesn't that sound really good? That one sounds so good. I'm actually really excited for that one. Anyways, there you have it. Those are all the eBooks that I ended up downloading for free last month in March. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any drink emoji in the comment section down below water a glass or something i don't care just a fun drink or something like that anyways thank you all so so much for watching and we'll see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all